What's going on? It's KC from kc-sounds.com. Today's video, I want to talk about whether or not you should master your beats when you're putting them up for sale. So I've seen a, a few videos where they they're talking about beat makers putting their beats online and they're, they're slamming they're slamming the limiter, which makes it hard for an artist to uh, work with the beat and mix and master it when whenever they purchase the beat and trying to put their music out there but then i'm thinking but so they're saying to put the beat up unmastered which if i'm honest i don't really think it's a good idea because if you think about it we all like loud music so if an artist goes to your your your, your website and clicks on one of your beats and it's and it ain't mixed or it ain't mastered and it's a lot quieter than i don't know the other producers uh, mastered beats. Yours ain't gonna really match up to the other producers. You know what I'm saying? So, I think, I think you should master your beats because if if the artist is a serious artist and they they go into the studio and they get in their tracks mixed properly, or they send it to the mix engineer or even me to mix, um, they they're gonna buy the track outs. You know what I'm saying? So if you're giving them the opportunity to buy track outs, that they can take them track outs and go to the studio or send them to the mix engineer who can then do his balancing and his levelling and his, his EQing and whatever he does to, to get it to a, a, a polished sound and then master it as one rather than trying to master or mix or mix and master a beat that's already been mastered do you know what I'm saying but this I don't don't think I'm trying to say that it's, it's impossible to do that because there's loads of songs out there where the artist has just got the, the mastered beat and their uh, <coughs> Their vocals have been mixed to that master beat, and then it's mastered again. It's it's possible. It de it's definitely possible to do that. So what I, all I'm saying is, put your your beats up mastered. <laughs> Some people might not agree with that, but yeah, I, I'm just gonna stick with that. Put your put your beats up mastered. Um, you don't have to make it squashed like to a point where it's just ridiculously squashed and, they, and the artists can't do nothing with it do you know what i'm saying just just make it nice man like if you need like a a, a dynamic range meter download the tt dynamic dynamic range meter there's a link below and that will help you to understand how squashed your beats are and if they, there are loads of other ones out there but that's the one that i use so yeah master your beats and upload them hope this video has helped if it has hit that like and subscribe button i appreciate that don't forget to follow me on Instagram, post up little tips and tricks all the time that I don't get to put on YouTube. As per usual, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Music is life. Peace.